before we get started, I just want to give a quick shout out and say thanks so much for being the first to comment on my last video. So for today's video, we'll be using my Square Extra Short Soft Gel Full Nail Covers. These are available for purchase on my Etsy shop and I'll be sure to have the link to them down below. Um, I'm just going in now and I'm sizing out my nails and just making sure that they fit wall to wall before we begin the design. If you have problems shaping, filing like I do, I definitely recommend giving soft gel full nail covers a try just because they make not only the whole process of applying nails faster but also shaping way easier. <music> For this video, we'll be using poly gel as our adhesion method, and all I'm doing here is pulling out my dappin dish and filling it up with some alcohol. This is 70% alcohol, and this dappin dish I actually purchased from TJ Maxx. It's actually meant to be a candle holder, but I'm using this Model One's poly gel and Model One's poly gel brush. I definitely recommend Model Ones for poly gel. It's it's great. I have a link to my favorite Model Ones kits um, on Amazon down below. Definitely recommend poly gel by Model Ones if you're a beginner. It's just very easy to work with, easy to maneuver, not too sticky, not too gooey. It's always the perfect consistency. So it's definitely one of my favorites. But I'm just going in here and as you can see, I'm just applying a pea size amount and then spreading it to evenly coat my entire soft gel full nail cover. Uh, then after you evenly coat it, you want to go in, apply it to your nail. And if you do happen to get any excess poly gel that oozes around the sides or cuticle, um, you just want to go in and remove that before curing. So it's very simple, very easy. You guys have seen me do this a million times. Uh, one thing that I did not do in this video is flatten the underneath of my nails. So you might pick up on it, honestly, throughout the video, but you wanna make sure that you're doing that as well. And by flattening the underside, I mean, after you apply the full nail cover with the poly gel in it to your nail, you just want to go in and flip your hand upside down and with your brush pat underneath your nail where it hangs over your natural nail so it's not bulky. Um, so after I finish applying here, this is the point where I would flip it over and pat the underneath of my nail. So that's just another tip that I would recommend doing as well. But other than that, this is a really simple, easy method. Um, not too much different, so I'm just going to sit back and let you guys watch me work. Once all five fingers are applied, we'll be back. Oh, and I also wanted to mention, you can see here that I'm doing multiple nails um, and then going in and curing. That's a method you can do. Um, you can cure every nail after you apply, but sometimes if the poly gel is workable, you can apply multiple fingers. Most of the time for your four fingers and then you can go in and cure and then you always wanna make sure that you do your thumb separately and that you're curing that separately. Um, but that's just gonna help you eliminate the time that your hand is in and out of that UV lamp. And I don't know about you guys, but I definitely try to eliminate as much time as possible just because, you know, if you're not using sunscreen or protecting your hands, it can be kind of harmful, the UV and LED rays. So that's just a tip there to help you cut down some of that time that your hand is in that lamp. But yeah, as I said earlier, I'll be back um, after all five fingers are applied and I'll just sit back now and let you guys watch me work. I'm just going to go in with a lint-free wipe and some alcohol and wipe my nails down before we begin filing. Filing is super duper easy. Um, as I said in the beginning of the video, 
when you use soft gel for nail covers it just makes the process easier so i'm going in with an 80 80 grit nail file honestly you see me doing the sides but your main priority is the tops of your nails apologies for the shakiness i have to figure out a method for that um, but i'm just going in and shaping it the way i like that's your main focus is the top some people like a more rounded edge some people like a square um, a super sharp square edge so uh, that's the main focus there and it takes two seconds as compared to if you were shaping the whole nail it just takes forever so it really helps cut down that time uh, but after you dust off all that excess at this point you could go in and wash your hands if you did do a full prep before applying your nails we did not prep in this video but if you have never prepped before and you, you know you, you would like to see a video on that down below in the description i'll have a link to a video where i show you my whole prep process but as you can see here i just applied one layer of this uh, polish by beetles love beetles definitely recommend it if you are new to nails and you're trying to get a plethora of colors definitely recommend beetles because their bottles are small manageable and you can get a lot of different shades and it doesn't take up too much space so definitely recommend that this is the model ones uh, gel top coat one of my favorites i rave about this all the time and after you finish applying that my last and final and favorite step is cuticle oil so you just want to make sure that you're investing in an ultra hydrating cuticle oil and here's the final look super cute uh, very simple very easy minimalistic i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please don't forget to leave me a like comment and subscribe i love you guys so much and i'll catch you in my next video bye